We are talking about some groundbreaking research this morning at the University of Louisville, and it's on its way to help astronauts in space. They figured out how to freeze dry our blood. Now they're trying to rehydrate it in zero gravity. It is amazing. Here's Brooke Ash. Researchers at the University of Louisville have worked for years to get to this point, discovering how to store our blood in any environment. It wouldn't need refrigeration. It wouldn't go bad in 42 days. It could last a lifetime. They successfully freeze dried blood that needed only water to rehydrate, and NASA quickly took notice. The question comes up is if you're in reduced gravity or zero gravity, will the red blood cells rehydrate correctly? and will they function like normal red blood cells. This group of UofL students and faculty practice their theories here on Earth for months. Okay, we're into parabola one. Brett is doing the injection of the water. And then in November, NASA funded their experiments aboard this Boeing 727 jet owned by the company Zero G. This is video inside that test flight. Once they hit 30,000 feet, the plane went into a free fall, simulating a weightless environment. These UofL researchers had about 15 seconds to make it happen. They worked around this glove box, much like an incubator. Everything strapped down to keep their movements steady. It allows you to work with potentially hazardous materials like blood and water um, so that they don't get out of control or they don't float away from you and then pose a hazard to somebody else working on the in the aircraft on a completely different project. If successful, this would be a breakthrough for any team of astronauts to receive a blood transfusion in space. Right now, if they need blood, the nearest hospital is six hours away back on Earth. They have to be completely independent as far as their health care. But for future trips to the moon or even Mars, the ability to store freeze-dried blood would allow for years-long missions without ever needing to turn back. Here on the Zero-G test flight, their 15 seconds are up. They found massaging the bag of rehydrated blood worked. Yeah, that's really good. I'm, I was really excited. The next step, doing it all over again in November. You excited? Oh yeah, always excited to fly this time on a much larger scale.